All right, so in this problem, I'm given a vector field V of X, Y, and Z, and the description of a surface M that I want to draw. So M is the right circular cylinder with no top or bottom, centered around the Z axis of radius 5, between Z equals negative 7 and Z equals 7, oriented outward. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. So I've got this cylinder centered around the z-axis, radius 5 goes from z equals negative 7 to z equals 7. And now I want to parametrize that surface. So I'm going to think about cylindrical coordinates, right? That means x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, and z is just itself. Well, I want to parametrize using two variables, u and v, or here let's use r and theta, or some combination of r, theta, and z. So in general, the parametrization is r cosine theta, r sine theta, and z. But I only want to parametrize in two variables. So let's think about what's constant here. Well, z varies from negative 7 to 7, so it can't be that. And theta varies from 0 to 2 pi, so I go all, around, all the way around the cylinder. But the radius is held constant at 5. So I'm going to parametrize in terms of theta and z and say that r is held constant at 5. So I've got r of theta and z equals 5 cosine theta comma 5 sine theta comma z. And theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, z goes from negative 7 to 7. Okay, and now I want to find the rate at which fluid is flowing through the cylinder in meters cubed per second. So I need a flux integral, and I'm just going to write down what the general form of that is. So it is a double integral with respect to theta and z, and it is v of r of theta and z, so the vector field evaluated over the surface, dotted with the cross product of the two partial derivatives of that parametrization, so r theta and rz. So I have two major components that I need to find before I can integrate. Let's start with v of r. So everywhere I see an x in v, I want to plug in the i component of r. Likewise, everywhere I see a y, plug in the j component, Z, plug in the K component. So, I've got negative 5 sine theta, 5 cosine theta Z. So, that part's all set. Now I need to find R theta and R Z and then their cross product. So let's start with R theta. So, just differentiate each term in R with respect to theta. So first I've got 5 cosine theta, and the derivative of that is going to be negative 5 sine theta. And then for 5 sine theta, the derivative of that with respect to theta is going to be 5 cosine of theta. And then z is treated like a constant when I'm integrating, excuse me, differentiating with respect to theta, so its partial derivative is going to be 0. Now let's find R V, R Z. So 5 cosine theta and 5 sine theta are like constants. They don't have any, you know, multiples factors of Z. So those are both going to differentiate to 0. And then the partial derivative of Z with respect to itself is just 1. So now I want to find this cross product. I'm going to use a matrix and cross uh, and cofactor expansion. So I have a 3 by 3 matrix. The first row is the vector components i, j, k. 
The second row is our theta and the third row is our z. So I'm just going to copy those over. Okay. Now I'm going to use a cofactor expansion to find each uh, term of the vector. So first I'm going to do i. So cut the top column and cut the row that has an i. And I'm looking at the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix, which is just going to be 5 cosine theta. Now, let's do j. So again, cut the top row. This time, cut the middle column. And I've got the, the determinant of negative 5 sine theta, 0, 0, 1, which is just going to be negative 5 sine theta. And then since my sines alternate, multiply that by a negative 1, and I get 5 sine theta. And then for k, this time cut the rightmost column, and I have the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix, which is just going to be 0. Now I want to dot that with v of r. So products of the i components plus products of the j components plus products of the k components. So I've got 5 cosine theta times negative 5 sine theta. which is negative 25 sine theta cosine theta plus 5 cosine theta times 5 sine theta, which is 25 sine theta cosine theta. Plus z times 0. So these are opposite. When I add them, I'm just going to get 0. So I'm just integrating 0. And you, know, you can go through the motions, but the answer to that integral is going to be 0 meters cubed per second. So there is no fluid flowing through our surface M.